What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And while I'm watching um, a, a YouTuber I, I really enjoy, um, his name is Derek Gerard. Um, sh sh shout out to you, my man. Um, again, you. Um, I started watching your channel back um, probably two years ago. And there he is. Uh, yeah. He's a good YouTuber. So, let's get into my Q&A today. I have a lot to talk about. Starting with um, this that I heard, um, like, I think... On Thursday? So, just scrolling through YouTube, I'm watching What Culture? Um, r wrestling um, on YouTube. Um, and I see this trash bag logo um, on the, the thumbnail and Mickey James face and Mark Carano. So I, I click on it. So to sum up this story, um, Mickey James got sent her stuff from WWE in a trash bag. Why would anyone want to do that to their wrestlers that they? That they put their life on the line for, for in this company just to get sent a trash bag with their mementos and all that crap. Like, who would do that? So, Mark Arano got fired. I mean, if he wants to do that, he deserves to be fired. But... For real, for, for, for real, that was really stupid that I saw that. Like, that should, he should rot for that. Um, and then, I got a question, um, from White Stoner. Sh sh shout out to you. You're always giving me good questions. And the same as um, Wrestling Duty Central. Um, well, first of all, before I get into that, um, I've been keeping this secret. I have a package from WWE Shop. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, but it's on pre-order and I've been waiting three weeks for it. So that will be on unboxing. I have no idea when it's going to get here, guys. I've been, I, I ordered this stuff. On April, wait, where is it? April 8th, two days before WrestleMania. Like a day, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, two days before WrestleMania. And it's been three weeks. Like, we were, to, um, wrestling, wrestling DVD central was talking to me the other day and he says, I hope you, f I hope you get figured out. And I said, I I'm getting pissed off. I said, I would be too. It seems ridiculous at this point. Like, of course it's ridiculous. Okay. 
So, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, White Stoner. Um, I will get to your question in a second. So, it's around November, um, going into December, right after Survivor Series. And my friend Michael wanted this item. I wonder if they still have it on the shop here so I can show you it. I just got some chill in the weekend, but I'll be gone, I'll be gone. I've been watching TV all day long. Where the heck is it? I know that they still have it. Or they should. Plaques. Plaques and frames. Saturday when I came along. Okay, so he ordered and it did come, but it was like on a pre order thing. Of course they're out of stock. Duh. Here, I think if I go into Messenger, I think it will show what he got. But he got the Undertaker plaque from Survivor Series. And, like, that took maybe a month to get there. And, like, I'm seriously, like, saying, like, I'm getting as pissed off as he, he was a couple months ago. Like, my package is in here. I'm getting pissed off. Like, I'm like him. Like, right now. I'm, like, so pissed off. Because I really want these items. So, now, back to White Stoner's question. So, I have no idea when these packages are, when this package is arriving. So, he says, what are your thoughts on Joe being released? Um, I mean, what? It's a low ball. He was injured. He was on Marat. I mean, he stood in the rain on WrestleMania night one just to get released last week. Well, AEW, here, here he comes. I mean, he's a former United States champion, a former NXT champion. I mean, I, I mean two years ago at WrestleMania 3, 35, he passed out Mysterio like this. Like, 10 set. I mean, that match was... Um, 
WrestleMania 35. Wikipedia. Oh, yeah, did you know Alger Black came back last night? Yes, he's back. He's alive. Like, I seriously thought he got released with Selena Vega. Like, I really did. But he's back. He's reading the, the devil story on, on SmackDown last night. <coughs> my... my my eyes were glued to the TV and not COVID because I got my vaccine. All right. He, he passed them out in a minute, in one minute. And he won the United States championship two years ago. Okay. Do you like this design? Because I, I sort of do, I sort of don't. So, like, he is a... He, and he... And Joe held that title. Wait, where is it? When was Mania? He held the title for for a couple of months, and then his uh, so I think he I think he got the the drop on him. I seriously do. He's gonna change his name and go to AEW like Rusev, like. Dean Ambrose, Chris Jericho. Well, Chris Jericho didn't change his name because he didn't have to. Um, and I hope I I hope I get Chris Jericho's new book. But yeah, I mean, he was injured. I mean, there's nothing he could have done. And then his next White Star's next question is. Thoughts on 2000, the year of 2007. I just finished watching 2007 yesterday, so I could get caught up on this question. So I watched every pay per view from 2000. Well, I didn't watch every pay per view, I watched. I. I wanted to start in Oct I wanted to start in October for for Cyber Sunday. So I watched Cyber Sunday, then I watched the Raws. I watched Survivor Series and then I watched a couple more Raws with the new the new millennium second coming and Chris Jericho came back. I'm like saying he got fired in 05, and he came back in 07. This is great. He, he's going to win the championship. And, like, but then JBL had to ruin it. That's what I hate about that match. That, ma that match was awesome, but... The best match on that card is Edge, Batista, and Undertaker for the world title. Now, 
I would have loved to watch 2007 for SmackDown, but Peacock only has it for up to 2019. You can think of the words inside my head. So, I can't do that. So, on the Raw side, it was a good year, 2007. They had Undertaker and Batista had great matches over on SmackDown, though. That rivalry came for WrestleMania 23. Backlash. And then probably at Cyber Sunday. Like a bunch of matches. But Peacock has to ruin everything. And I can't watch it on SmackDown. So I'm going to say for the Raw side, 2007 was a great year. 2009 and 2010 were their worst. 2011 was okay. When they, when they switched over to PG, you knew, you knew it was going to be bad. And then um, I got another question from wrestling. Okay, so th thanks for your question, bro. Um, I re 2007 as a whole was a fantastic year. Because Chris Jericho came back. We didn't think he was going to come back. But he did. But he didn't win the gold. I really thought he was going to win the gold. C can you believe he's 50 today? Like, that is so weird. I also went to Walmart um, yesterday... Nothing. Um, Elimination Chamber came out. You you know I'm not going to get that. I'm going to wait for Mania to come out on May 25th. And hopefully that will be my next pickup. Hopefully my package comes before the 25th. I mean, seriously. So, his question, Wrestling Duty Central's question is, thoughts on 2016 for SmackDown? For Monday Night Raw, it, for Monday Night Raw, it, it was not good. I mean, you had um, Kevin Owens become Universal Champion. You had um, him versus Rollins a lot. At, and you also had The List. Of Jericho. Drink it in, man. Okay. Th that was cool. I think for Raw and SmackDown, they were both good. S scratch what I just said, because I remembered um, K K Kevin Owens winning the championship in June. Um, yeah. Yeah. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins was a good rivalry. You had the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match for Charlotte and Sasha Banks. But for SmackDown, SmackDown was my home for 2016. You had The Miz with the IC title versus Dolph Ziggler. When did the rivalry start? What pay-per-view did he start at? Um, at Backlash on September 11th, The Miz successfully defended the title against Dolph Ziggler after Maurice sprayed a Perfume in his eyes. Afterwards, the Miz continued to wear Brian. Um, and then, um, 
So at Backlash, he lost. Um, Dolph Ziggler lost. So I, th so I guess it started at Backlash. Um, um, and then he put his career on the line. Um, Ziggler did. Let's see. All right. Uh, 2016 draft. Ziggler drafted a SmackDown on July 26. July 26. He got put in a no more tenor match for the world title. Blah blah blah. Um, he was defeated by John Moxley on uh, at SummerSlam. Ziggler started a feud over the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. Failing to capture the title of Backlash after Maurice sprayed him with something. Um, I think I think it was Mace or something. Or Perfume. Ziggler would defeat the Miz at No Mercy to win the title. And where he would lose, he would retire. However, he would lose the title 37 days later after the Miz is on the night... In, Later, against The Miz on the 900 episode of SmackDown, the feud culminated in a ladder match for the at the TLC event for the championship, in which advised as his, their final match, where Ziggler was defeated. Um, and and in 2016, you had um going into 2017. Yeah, um, Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt at Wrestle at WrestleMania thirty three. I think Brody Lee should have been added into that match because they were they were the the Wyatt family. But twenty sixteen as a whole, great year. There's there's nothing wrong with twenty sixteen. Except maybe Braun Strowman being on the show, versus um, Sami Zayn on Raw in that um, that feud was just awful. Um, and then you had um James Ellsworth come in, defeating AJ Styles, a WWE champion at the time. Oh yeah, and you also had um AJ Styles debut. Um, at, at, at the Rumble. That's great. The, the Rumble is always a great pay-per-view to debut at. Yeah, I'm debut at three. He got, def he got thrown over the top rope by Kane. Um. He wins the WWE title at, at, um, Backlash. September 11th. Um, they, they have a few with John Cena. Culminating at the Royal Rumble 2017. For the world title. to um, For John Cena to capture his 16th world championship. And, but like I said. 2016 for Raw and SmackDown were great. You have the, the list of Jericho making his de its debut. The Festival of Friendship in 20... The end of 2016. Yeah. But I think SmackDown took the... Took the ratings over Raw. Like they're doing now with Roman Reigns being the, the Universal Championship. And Raw being... Three hours of boredom. Yeah. So, yeah. That is my final question for my Q&A. Um, leave, your, leave your questions in the comments below if you have any. And I will see you guys next Friday with a new Q&A. And... Reviews are, re reviews are coming back. Just have a lot of stuff with 
school and all that stuff to keep uploading daily. That's why my last video was t two days, or it's probably t two days ago now. I, I have an upload, but probably a new video coming on Sunday when, when, when this is uploaded. So tomorrow. So I, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.